some men don't have the value to get the things that they want at the end of the day. But so go ahead. if you were 40 years old yeah, and you sat in a room, you had a 20 year old here, maybe a 26 year old there yeah, and a 34 year old there. So you would put that 26 and 34 year old in a category of just, I would smash because they're older, probably been through more, but I would commit to that 20 year old at 40 years old because she hasn't caught a lot of bodies or she hasn't been through no, it's, relationships. It's, it's so. more than that, that when a man me. is choosing right. a woman, right? Yeah. Men are looking for characteristic traits, how the woman carries herself. The man is looking for a multitude of things, right? When he's looking for to give, to grant a relationship. Just like y'all women looking for a multitude of things before y'all gonna give a man to, because y'all hold the key to we hold the key to relationships. So you look for all of these characteristic traits before you spread your legs open to a man. Cool. Granted, right? All I'm saying is men, we look for a multitude of characteristic traits before we grant a relationship to a woman. That's all I'm saying. So when a, when a man in that situation, if he's looking at things, what would generally, without knowing anything, generally what would have the highest probability? The younger woman would have the highest probability of being pure, being more feminine, being this and this, and uh, being pure where the uh, younger woman hasn't been molded by the world, so she's more uh, uh, able to follow the man's lead. That's what I'm saying. But there could be other things in it. Maybe that uh, 20 year old came from a broken home and didn't have a father. Maybe the uh, other girl had more of some guidance and, and came from a two parent household and, and has some values instilled, to her, instilled in her. So he may choose a girl that's 28 over the girl that's 18 because it's just it aligns with what he's looking for better. That's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to purity. That's what but it all comes back to. You don't think about it as like. Manipulation? Like, no, no. You I'm already saying gave, I granted that. I granted that both but parties I'm just do saying that. Because, just because you have a daughter. Tom, can anyone you understand this? <laughs> it's not that I'm, we're not understanding, and that's why I'm saying you. I feel like when somebody says I don't agree with you, <laughs> the first thing out of your mouth is, "Oh, you don't understand. You're lost in emotion." No, I'm allowed to right. agree. Is it to because disagree. we're women and we're lost in emotion? Wait, what? I, just, I just don't disagree with some of the stuff you say, but I understand. I just don't agree. Okay, that's totally fine. But, but um, I what you that had? I was lost in emotion. I feel like everything. I mean, you were, but go ahead. I'm not. Everything that's being said, like you're automatically on the defense, especially when it comes to her. Like, thank you. You're automatically on the defense, and you keep saying emotion, 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 emotion. Bro. But I feel like you're oh, being yeah, emotional as well. Emotional. You're no, no, being no, no, emotional no. as well, though. Well, passion is a form of emotion, right? I'm being passionate about the but things okay that I'm speaking about. It's okay for you to do it no, because no, you're a man, no, but if no, she does, no, it's a problem. No, 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 no. And it's her emotion. I'm not that, and I'm annoying. No, 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 listen. And she's no, annoying. Stop it, stop it. Because when I'm speaking, I'm the host of the podcast, and y'all came here for me, right? What I'm saying is this, right? What? We came because we wanted to discuss the positive topics okay and, and we are it, discussing it's not that just for you but listen no no but listen you the difference of it you got to be able to differentiate things you're trying to say that we're all emotional incorrect mm -hmm. i'm saying that i'm passionate and i'm listening to y'all and literally refuting all of your arguments to the point where we're staying on t staying on this topic for so long because i'm listening and then i'm like okay let me you know be very tactical with this approach and analyze this so i can give a good response and i'm using active listening skills that's not being emotional i'm hearing y'all and then giving a response Man. some of my responses i host the podcast i don't i'm not these other podcasts that got two hosts so i got to be charismatic so what i get is passion and charismaticness i gotta be screaming hey doing a little bit of this hey this is for the audience i'm sure the audience is having a good time what is it 12 p.m and we got over 200 people 300 people in here right now what is are you talking about so obviously it's lit I... but listen no. No. <laughs> what what it's what time it's 12 13 it's time for me to eat <laughs> They but I have a question, though. I have a question, though. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, real quick, hold your question. Let me just finish up with her because I don't want to be moving all around. Did you have anything else with what you were saying? No, I'm just saying it feels like everything that she's saying, and this is I how it's coming it. off, but the way you speak to her and how you raise your tone when she's saying something versus when we're all saying something that you might disagree with is very different. And I think. It's just okay. very uncomfortable. That, it's, that's how it's, it's coming totally off. Fine. Is that's everyone, how it's coming got off. It. Is everyone the same in this room? No, y'all not the same. Y'all all gave different responses, right? And y'all all carried yourself differently, even when y'all gave the response, right? And I don't think anyone really interrupted me during this podcast but her. 
Do, can, can we all agree can, to can that? I say yeah, my, can I say my question? It's not really a question. Can I say no, my statement? I don't think... I got you. Can I say Real it? quick, let me just finish my statement. I got you. I don't think... And even with that, like, she's like, can she say it? And then get her go, me and you is always back and forth. All I'm saying is, the reason why she's... The reason why our dialect is different from y'all dialect, right, is just because she's different from y'all. And you're she's different from all of y'all, too. So it's, it's not uh, uh, like... Y'all looking for all of this equalness. Like, females always looking for, like, equal things. Well, you're not treating this person equally to this person? Because y'all different. What do you, I'm not going to treat y'all all equal. Like, all the same. You're not going to get the... She's giving me different responses, so she's going to get a different response back. Go ahead. It's, all right, but I, I get that. I get that whole scenario. Got, okay, got you. Right? You got something else. And I get everything that you're saying, but I do feel like you cannot sit here and act like you're completely a saint because you're literally inter like interrupting each and every... Right. I mean, I haven't really spoken because... I, I can get disrespectful, but like you literally interrupted every single person here, but you did like interrupt her more. Right? But that's not my he point. Flat out told me to shut up. That's not, but that's not my point, yeah, right? But you're telling other people to stop talking for you, but she won't stop talking for them. And I get that you're the host. Respect. Thank you for having me here. It's gorgeous. Okay, but like appreciate that. I definitely feel like you <laughs> you should be treating everybody like they're a human. Yeah, yeah. You I know am. what I mean. Uh, but do you so believe like, in a hierarchy? No, no, I don't care. I don't okay. care for that. So, I feel no, like no, you and me totally are the same. It doesn't matter the gender, the race, yeah. no, no, the age difference. Yeah. I don't care about none of that. It, it, no. I definitely feel like, though, everybody should be treated equal. Yeah, if yeah, she's yeah, talking, I'm going to let her talk. I don't care if this is my house or I got whoever's you. house. I got you. Life just doesn't operate like that, ladies. So this is podcast is called No Fugazi, right? And this podcast on No Fugazi, uh, the world, everything is a hierarchy in life. I'm sure she understands the hierarchy a little bit because she was in the Navy. So she understands that she got to report to this person, this person is above this person, that person is above that person. And it's a hierarchy to things based off accomplishments, competence, and all of these other factors that's involved in it, right? Oh, excuse so, me. so let me finish and answer your question, right? The reason, the, the reason why it's like this is because this is my podcast. So I am on the top of the hierarchy. So if I have to interrupt someone, it isn't, I always give it back. Just like I gave it back to her. When I interrupt her, or if you interrupt her, I'm like, let her finish her point. It was mad times when she interrupted me. I didn't kick her off. I still let her finish her point. And I was like, wait, elaborate on that. Speak a little bit more. Even if I'm interrupting, because we have to have the dialogue, right? You feel what I'm saying? So me interrupting is me doing my job and you have to respect the hierarchy. But the facts is that audience, I need y'all to take some notes on this. Women in general don't really know how to respect any hierarchy. That's why it's hard for them to follow <laughs> man's lead because they okay, can't respect can, any type but of you can at least say excuse me you know, I do respect Even my husband you know the right. is, you got I the do, ring I do, ring. I do, resp fine. I do respect my you husband fine. but he would never ever talk to me however you're talking to these ladies right now exactly. he totally would never yeah, well, I respect him man, he's higher than different. me because he's the man of the house he is the breadwinner he is the father of our children yeah. but I would never sit here and not allow him to not say excuse me baby can you let me talk real quick or excuse me can you let me speak real quick yeah, there's yeah, respect yeah, in the hierarchy yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. expect and respect when you don't give it out so I understand why she's snapping on you because you're mm -hmm. not even saying like alright whatever you're not even gonna let her be dead wrong at yeah, all alright whatever what do you mean you don't even let her be dead wrong. So dead wrong. Oh, you mean like if she says something right. and she's dead wrong, then yeah, I just leave it? Yeah, but even at that, like you're still no, being no, no, like... No, 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 listen, baby girl, listen. If that's not... You're looking for something that's not that, right? And the thing is what you're looking for something that is like... That's not a uh, 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 masculinity. You're looking for something that says the go along to get along podcast. This podcast ain't called you're go along to get along. Toxic this podcast, you're giving me toxic masculinity. Listen, no, ladies, I'm I got you. Let me finish. I will. Yeah. This podcast isn't the go. <laughs> and chat, uh, this is good. The ladies is, you know, questioning how the podcast is being ran and stuff like that. But this podcast isn't the go along to get along podcast. You think that I'm going to allow someone to walk in something to what I created. I have men on here that I speak to with them much worse. Pull up my debates. I had a man in here and I'm calling this dude feminine in his face. I don't hold anything back. The same energy I give to y'all, I give to another man. So, so are you higher different. than all? Wait, I'm sorry. Are you higher what? than all? What do you mean higher than you're, all? Uh, obviously, I feel like you, the hierarchy thing you're saying, so you're higher than other men because they're feminine. You're no, higher no, no, than no. us no, because no, 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 no. it's your I, podcast. I didn't just say that. I'm just ta telling you that but I'm asking. how I'm speaking to y'all is the same way that I will speak to another man. I don't think that I'm higher than anyone. I believe in a higher power, right? And I respect people, and I respect the hierarchy myself. If there's another man, I have other, did podcasts with other guys that know things more than I do in different areas or different fields. And I respect it. If I don't know something, I'm going to sit back and listen and get that game.
right? If I don't know it. But if I do know something and they saying something that is very nonsensical and false, that ain't going to fly Has with that been me. her, though? Who, who, what you just been? said, I can't. I'm, it's I'm, been a lot of y'all on the podcast. Okay, but I'm talking about her. Persif- like, what about her? her? You just said she's chilling and she's fine right now. What about her? What big ass word did this no, man just use? Said, <laughs> what she said nonsensical. <laughs> okay, yeah, so was that her? So everything okay. that she said is that? Is no, no, what no. she's saying was that? Everything that most of the ladies here, y'all had points of contention and uh, of things that I said. And I had to, uh, you know, give her a rebuttal. And refute some of the arguments, meaning refute you make a claim and then I make a claim that supersedes the claim you make and then you don't like my claim. You may understand it, but you don't like it. So it's like, well, I'm not going to accept it. So I agree to disagree. That's totally fine. And what was my response? Well, you're just you got to take out your emotions from it. And then what would y'all say? Well, we're not being emotional. Well, you're emotional, too. Then I'm saying that. No, 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 baby girl. The truth is the truth. Whether if, if someone says one plus one equals two or one plus one equals F and two, it's still two at the end of the day. It's not about how you say things. Mm-hmm. It's what is being said. Mm-hmm. Now, we all know that human beings are emotional. So, yeah, how something is said may affect that person where that person got a weakness. If this person can't see the truth, is very simple. If the truth is here, right, and if the truth, when you get the truth, it can... Uh, up to your worldview by accepting the truth and then lead you on a better path. The people that accept the truth go on a better path. They are successful in their endeavors. The people that get the truth, but oh, I don't want to accept it. I can't take it. It's too emotional. Their emotions fog them from the truth. Then they go on the wrong path. So I'm saying I'm giving you a game. If you want to take the wrong path, go ahead. If you want to take the right path, by any means, good for you. That other stripper on his podcast, like I said, she was same things I was saying to her. I was way worse than than the things that I said to this other girl was crazy. It was it was much right, worse. Like I was said that. Wait, what? She never said she was a stripper. No, but we already, she, we already clarified no, we already that. But my problem is, that. is that he keeps on referring back to that like she's not a human being. And aren't right. you a mother? Was, Can we talk like, about how she's a mother instead of calling her just a stripper? Like, well, my only like, thing was he said what? he's talking like that because of problems. hierarchy. So from what from what I'm hearing, it seems like I'm lowest on the hierarchy Hold up. Steve, real here. Real quick, yo, how the chats in there? Uh, should I get to the super chat? When I ask that question, we redirect it. Okay, okay. Point proven. Point proven. Yeah, let's get to the. Well, you already said what you said. You. Said no, it. I just asked you a different question. And I answered that question again. That's did, what, I, I never answered did. that question? I no, all I asked, so I'm the lowest on the hierarchy right now. No, no one said that. What are you no, talking that, about? That was the question I just asked. I just asked. Can I have your water? Yeah, but no you one said, said that. You were, no, I, oh, I, I'm you asking a question. I said, you said Steve, switch you were your speaking car? to us based on Not the, the hierarchy one. system. No, no, I didn't say that. So you weren't active listening. No, I was, but you said a lot. So I'm right. trying to understand no, no, what I, you're trying I, oh, to say. Got you. So what I said that when I talked about the hierarchy, I was I was referring to when she was talking about cutting people off. She said, "Well, we're being when you're cutting us off, and mm-hmm. you're cutting us off more than we're cutting you off, and you're cutting her off more than you're cutting us off." And then I had to explain the hierarchy to things. I said that, "Well, guess what? Everyone, I'm here because this is my podcast, and y'all are under, right? And then we got to speak about who's saying the most nonsensical and illogical things, and, she and also you, was interrupting. It me? I asked you, was no, it her? and listen, and also interrupting. I said." Uh, well, it's very simple. It was her. So that's why she was getting a different energy and different verbiage from me. Y'all saying that at the end, bro, it's, yeah, like, what the heck, y'all? We was on this for Matt Long, and at the end of the day, how long is this, this shows it very, very clearly. Uh, women don't know how to really take guidance from a masculine man. It's not, because okay, they was being influenced you know, incorrect. incorrect. You yeah, just so said yourself okay, you were the, feminine. At, what? Wait, what? When then did this I whole ever time say you that? kept saying that you lack... You lack masculinity. No, from no not one going ever said without that. No, that's different. I said that before in the beginning. No one's talking about now. I talk about every man, any man, oh, to become a man. When you're freaking 18, <clears throat> 17 years old, you think that you are as masculine when if you actually learn from your mistakes as when you're 35 years old? No. It takes time to acquire value and time to acquire masculinity and a multitude of other things. To be fair. So I'm not saying any of that. But let me get to these super. I'm sorry. Go Wait, ahead. You got a question? To, yeah, no, I just want to make a comment. To be fair, I don't think because you can raise your voice and and speak your opinion very loudly that 
you're masculine. In, in my opinion, I think you sitting here to me, you come off to me very feminine. Sure, great. And very I'm sassy. Sure, I'm, That's why nobody here is respectful to me. Exactly, because you're not respectable. I mean, you're not respectable. I mean, the way you, you talk to women to is me. disgusting. Like, well, I mean, if you want to go, you can go. Disgusting. Like, well, yeah, I mean, you're masculine, black, you're fat, you're overweight, and women. hey, it is what it is. That's a masculine trait. Uh, being, 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 being big. <laughs> That's a masculine trait. Peace. Peace. Let's get this on. Let's get this on recording. Peace, ladies. Get up out of here. See, see the door. Not you. Get up out of here. See the leaving. That's so corny. It's right there, right on the couch. That get get out of here. That's the, so le, get up out of here. Sweet. It's giving sweet. Oh, and she threw stuff. Oh, and she threw stuff. It's giving sweet. We got that. Get get up out of here, little fat obese John. <laughs>